what's going on everybody welcome back to another episode of guns like i'm gun the great and you guys brought it to my attention that smoke perp had fake dreadlocks so we're gonna take a look at it i'm just gonna take your guys' word i seen that not locks did make a video on this i haven't watched the video but i did see the thumbnail he had first so i was like shocked and i was like what he really does have fake dreadlocks i'm just gonna go in without any background on anything i didn't look at his video because i don't want to be swayed in anybody else's opinion but i just want to see by myself if this is real that he does have fake dreads so let's just jump straight into it and you guys did request it so give it a thumbs up and yeah let's figure out if he does have fake or real dreadlocks okay so we're gonna start in this picture right here with him without dreadlocks whatsoever um very clean picture by the way but that's besides the point you can tell that his curl pattern of his hair right here is like half black half white hair same as mine he has very thick hair but it's not super duper coarse so it's not easy to go free form on that but the route he did go to get his dreadlocks i'm pretty sure he did twist his hair or do towel rub or sponge rub or something like that to get it freely formed not in free forms but freely formed and i think one of the first pictures i've seen of his dreads was this picture right here his hair is just long so going from the picture you've seen before to this picture you can tell that there's a lot of growth if there wasn't a lot of time in between this because his dreads right here are going down all the way to his nose some of them are different like some in the middle aren't all the way long and some of them are longer than the other ones so that can be evidence of fake dreadlocks and a lot of people did say that his hair is fake so i can see why but it's not all the way fake he just has lock extensions you could just tell that they are way longer than what they looked on the other picture he does have a set of high top dreads so they are hanging very low in the back and very low in the front but the reason why i say that they are fake is that some of them are hanging down and then some of them are sticking up so that makes me think that the ones that are sticking up are as real dreadlocks and then ones that are hanging down are the ones that are extended and fake so that's why it leads me to think that they are fake too they are all different lengths so he probably did want to go with a different length look so all of them being different lengths i know that Lil Uzi Vert's hair is kind of like that and young thug's hair is also like that so where his dreadlocks are kind of different lengths so are sway lee's he actually just cut his bangs to make them look like different length as well but he did it strategically to make it seem like they are real but that makes it look like they're more fake but also i don't know the whole story behind how he got a dreads or why he got a dreads moving on to this next photo is a pretty close up and you can see that the texture of his dreadlocks doesn't match up with his actual hair texture so that does lead everybody to think that they are fake um i'm not sure if he admitted it because everyone was so confident that his hair is fake based on everyone saying that i'm assuming that he did admit it or he did just show somehow that his hair was fake probably on a snapchat or instagram or something but look at the tips of his dreads on this picture you can tell that the hair texture of the extensions are straight and that's why they look like that it's like he tried to blunt them off but you can still see the evidence of straight hair inside of his dreadlocks which don't get me wrong if you get dreadlocks your hair kind of does straighten out but it doesn't become straight like super straight if your hair is curly it's going to maintain that curliness it's just going to stretch out the curl a little longer you can tell that the tips of his dreads are just straight they're sticking out you can see the frizziness up at the top but that doesn't show the evidence as much as the hair texture of the extensions but it is so crazy how people are actually getting extensions these days like same with Fetty Wap he has fake dreadlocks too he just got long ones straight off the bat and everyone knew about that and he was unashamed of it some people try to hide it I think Smoke Perp is one of the people that did try to hide it it's not a big deal if you get fake dreadlocks just admit it and be cool with it there's nothing wrong with it but don't get me wrong his hair does look cool on him it does look cool dreadlocks are a cool style having dreadlocks does come with patience and you have to be patient to maintain them and let them grow and get long but moving on to this next photo you can see that his dreads are short in this picture based on the photos it makes us all think he did put in the faux dreadlocks around this time or a little bit after this time because his dreads are short right here so it leads me to think that these dreadlocks were created right after that first picture i shown of his hair outside of dreads and you can see that they are loosely maintained he does have his hand in his hair right here so it leads me to think that he does twist his hair just with his fingers all the time that's what a lot of people do and they start their dreads off that way that is a long process but a lot of people do do that but if he was to just dread up his hair and let it grow out naturally his hair would look really cool because if you look at it in this picture i know it's a very blurry picture because it's like been through all these filters but his hair would look really cool if he just let it dread naturally okay guys this next photo is the dead giveaway on fake dreadlocks just look at the tips on this picture they are super straight like the frizziness off the tips of his dreads just exposes them right there but yeah it's just you can tell big time the different textures from the top of his head to the tips of his dreadlocks it straightens out that's why his hair lays down the way it does at such an early stage because he has extensions but guys if you want extensions just get them and don't be afraid to admit it it's okay no one's gonna make fun of you well some people probably will but don't listen to their opinions it doesn't matter but yeah this picture was the dead giveaway that 
made it seem to me that he did have dreadlock extensions and his hair was fake. Um, I'm sure you guys can see it as well. I don't think anybody can combat it because everyone was telling me that they were fake before I even knew that they were fake. So moving on to this next picture. Most of his dreadlocks, what I did notice is that the tips of his dreads are just like squared off. They're not even blunted, they're squared off. That also leads me to think that they are fake and it makes it look funny. It's kind of a funny look that they are squared off. Now, if your hair naturally did that, it would be kind of cool because it would be unique. But with them being extensions, it makes me think that he put in super duper long extensions and then cut them and then try to blunt them off the best he could. And that's the way it turned out like that. But enough of this picture. We're gonna move on to this next one when his hair is a little shorter. But you can also see that some of his ends are squared off and frizzy and super frayed and his hair texture just looks weird yeah it's kind of just weird it's just weird texture you can just tell that it's not his actual hair compared to how his hair looked when it was just like in a little afro but yeah that's what hair looks like when you get fake dreadlocks and it's easy to notice okay moving on to this next photo you can see that his hair is super long passing his ear right here all the way down to the bottom of his ear which it would reach like his lips if it was in the front which also what i was explaining how his hair is all different lengths there's not really much you can say i just wanted to show you guys evidence on yes his hair may have been fake but it also could have just been a rumor and his hair just looks weird <laughs> but not trying to dismiss in any type of way just saying if you have extensions don't be afraid to say that you have extensions but tell you the truth to have real dreadlocks is more of an experience and a greater failing than just getting them quick and having extensions of dreadlocks but yeah guys that is a wrap you guys asked for it so i wanted to show you guys my thoughts on his hair and what do i think about lock extensions i don't think anything of them if you get dreadlock extensions it's okay it shouldn't be such a big deal girls always get extensions all the time there's some guys out there who get extensions i know that's kind of weird i personally would never get extensions let alone dreadlock extensions but some people do i don't think we should bash them i don't think they should be ashamed so it does go hand in hand um pick your battles figure out what you want to do with your hair but to tell you the truth like i said it is better experience to actually just grow out your hair and live out that experience that's my thought on dreadlock extensions smoke perhaps dreadlock extensions and his fake hair if it is fake but you guys let me to think that his hair is fake so i did a video on it so thank you for requesting this video hit that thumbs up if you guys have not already please subscribe i do make a lot of videos and i post every wednesday and every sunday Thank you guys for tuning in. You guys are awesome. We are getting close to 35k. If not, we already hit it. Thank you for showing all the love, guys. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.